I have got a Pete Rose story coming up. On September 30th, all-time hits leader Pete Rose passed away at the age of 83. And it was very heartbreaking to hear that. He was definitely an interesting figure uh, throughout his life. Of course, many of you know the story of Pete Rose and how he went from being the all-time hits king to being banned for baseball for the rest of his life. And I'm not going to get into details about that, but I have some stories. I'm going to give my thoughts as to whether or not he should have been in the Hall of Fame. And I'm going to talk about a recent documentary that was out. But before I start that, let me just share with you my memories of Pete Rose. Now, he was at the peak of his career, mainly in the 70s when he was with the Cincinnati Reds and he was part of the Big Red Machine when they won their World Series titles in the mid 70s. Now I was a little too young for that. I really wasn't watching much baseball at the time. My first introduction to baseball was when I'd be watching the World Series and uh, teams like the Yankees and the Dodgers would be playing each other in the World Series. But I would hear about Pete Rose and everything that he would do. And he was a fascinating player. But I really never was a Cincinnati Reds fan at the time. I really didn't have a team that I hated when I was a kid. There was teams that I did like, like the Yankees and the Dodgers. But one thing I do know is that I had an aunt and an uncle and a cousin that grew up in Ohio, and they were big Cincinnati Red fans. Shout out to you, Cousin Scott. And it was nice hearing from him um, about how great Cincinnati was. You know, as cousins, you know, we'd always, you know, have these arguments and debates as to which teams they are the best, and that was fine. It wasn't until like the 80s when he went to play for the Philadelphia Phillies and I was more interested in that because I really liked the Philadelphia Phillies. The reason why that I liked the Phillies was because at that time there was a farm club in our area in Bend, Oregon and they were called the Central Oregon Phillies and then later on, the Ben Phillies. And I've been to several Ben Philly games when I was a kid during my middle school years. And Mike Schmidt was one of my favorite players at that time. And I really loved him. To me, he was one of the best players out there, along with Reggie Jackson of the Yankees. And I was a fan of the Philadelphia Phillies, especially when they won the World Series back in 1980. When they had Mike Schmidt, Steve Carlton, and Pete Rose was part of that group. And so basically, that was when I was a fan of Pete Rose. And watching him collect all those hits that he would get in the 80s and becoming the all-time hits leader, I was fascinated. And even when he went back to Cincinnati, I was still a Pete Rose fan. So, those were my childhood memories uh, with Pete Rose. And then I was devastated, like most baseball fans, when he was banned from baseball and that he was ineligible for the Hall of Fame at that time. But he also did some other things that he would do to supplement his income. One of the things that he did was his own radio show. And... I remember listening to that when I was basically, I think I was either in high school or just graduated from high school, or it could have been later. I could have been even in my early 20s, but he had a radio show and I was listening to it and he would talk about different topics and he would 
have people call in and give their opinions about things. And I actually called in to his radio show and I was and I got to talk to Pete Rose on the radio. That was the very first time ever that I made a phone call to a radio show and talking to a big time celebrity at that time I was a little nervous and one of the topics that he asked was when Michael Jordan retired after winning his first set of three NBA championships in a row I think the topic he talked about was will Michael Jordan come back and I called in I told him, hi Pete, nice to talk to you. I really enjoy your playing. Now one thing that I will have to say is when I got through the call screen, they'd have to tell you, don't talk about him being in the Hall of Fame or not being in the Hall of Fame. They told you what to say and what you could not say because if you did, they'd cut you off. And so I gave my opinions about you know whether or not Michael Jordan will come back or not. I think I said I I think I said he would. I and and we and he chatted about that and so that was pretty cool. There was another time later on when I think it was when like the Dallas Cowboys when they won their championships with Jimmy Johnson and then Jimmy Johnson got fired and hired by Barry Switzer. And he th was asking, well, is Barry Switzer going to be a good coach for the Cowboys? And I actually got through. I talked about that. I said, well, yes, I think, you know, Barry Switzer will lead the Cowboys to a Super Bowl. We got a job to do and we're going to do it, baby! He's got Jimmy Johnson's players that he got. And I gave a reference to George Seifert, who succeeded Bill Walsh for the San Francisco 49ers, and that he won the Super Bowl after Bill Walsh uh, retired. So I made that comparison. And so that's basically was the memories that I had with Pete Rose. And I, you know, I actually got to talk to him on the radio. But those are my memories with Pete Rose. And so as far as whether or not he should have been in the Hall of Fame, I really was of the strong opinion that he should have. Now, I had the belief that he should have stayed banned from baseball, as the rules stated, you know, for the consequences of gambling on baseball. But he should have been in the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame committee and the Major League Baseball committee, they are separate organizations, but for some reason, the... Hall of Fame wanted to be in cahoots with the major leagues, so they declared him ineligible, and I just thought that was just a travesty. Now, that kind of changed a little bit, and recently there was a documentary on Max called Charlie Hustle in the Manner of Pete Rose. And you look at all his accolades that he had, just what he did, and the way he played the game, people just loved him. And it talked about him reminiscing his life as a Cincinnati Red and as a Philadelphia Philly and even a Montreal Expo. And it talked about and it was and it was a four part documentary on what he had done and his denial uh, as to betting on baseball. And he was really bent on not you know, coming clean. And when he got banned, and when he got banned from it, it was just, it, he was crushed. You have to, you can see it on his face. And he would reminisce about things, being a life of being called back to the Phillies, being named as part of one of the greatest players in the history. And you have him with Mike Schmidt and the way he played and how he would uh, elevate other teammates. And once again, it just showed the highs and lows of his 
dealings uh, in his uh, life when he was a player, a manager, and whether or not he gambled or not. And so it was, some of it was pretty obvious if you lived um, enough to know what happened with his life story. There was some new details that would come out as far as him trying to get reinstated into baseball and perhaps even being eligible to be in the Hall of Fame. But for me, after watching this documentary, it just kind of made me wonder if he really should have been in the Hall of Fame. I mean, he's not. But that kind of changed my opinion. Now, I am still of the opinion that he should be in the Hall of Fame. But not so much. Because when he finally admitted to betting on baseball, he really didn't show really that much of a heartfelt remorse. It was more like a reluctance to admitting that he gambled on baseball, if you know what I mean. I'm of the opinion that if he would have come clean when it was first alleged that he bet on baseball, if he would have said it right then and there on the spot, and if he would have been clean about everything, if he would have been very, very apologetic, I think he probably would be in the Hall of Fame if he would have admitted to it right away and if he would have shown genuine remorse and that was the key to me that's the key because when he admitted to it he might have said yeah and I regret it and whatnot but to me that was just lip service if you ask me but so yes I'm I'm torn on this I really wish he would be in the Hall of Fame he should have been in the Hall of Fame because of all the accolades that he collected being the all-time hits leader I mean how can you not let that guy in but it's one of those things where it's like it's a yeah you could go one way or the other I'm still of the opinion that he should have been be in the Hall of Fame, but that kind of changed a little bit you know, based on what I saw in that documentary. So go check out that documentary and let me know. Did your opinion about Pete Rose change if you watched that documentary? Please let me know. Let's have a nice discussion about this. And so that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys. My memories of... Pete Rose and how I actually got to talk to him but on radio of course but it was still fun hey man I think that was one of the first celebrities big time celebrities that is that I talked to I actually called into other radio shows uh, throughout my lifetime I've talked to Colin Cowherd I've talked to Dan Patrick and I, ne I tried getting into the Jim Rome show one time I got through, but the call screener did not like my opinion. Okay. But hey, it's one of those things where you never know unless you try. So Pete Rose was basically one of the first big time celebrities that I had talked to. And this was, of course, was on radio. So that's my story for with Pete Rose. So... And I want to just conclude by saying our thoughts and prayers to the family of Pete Rose. I hope you guys can cope with this tragedy. And I hope that you guys can find great comfort in the fans that Pete had influenced throughout their lifetime. So we're going to miss you, Pete Rose. And thank you for all of the memories.